Uh, I was pretty confident in my fertility program until the gentleman came down from Ag Leader and, uh, and installed this uh, crop sensor. And uh, whenever he went out, whenever we went out to the field, um, I was thinking this thing was going to tell me I, I didn't need to put any nitrogen on it. It was quite the opposite. Of course, I didn't want to believe the thing at the time. And I let the crop sensor do the variable rate through the field. And, um, you know, I, I was just, my eyes were glued to the, the screen the whole time to see the variability. I mean, 80 pounds to 150, just constantly adjusting through the field. Well, at this stage, you know, it was at a V6 or V8 stage, right, right around in little over my belt and my crop looked great um, but the sensor said I needed more nitrogen and my eyes were telling me no but we've had a lot of rain we've had uh, a lot of nitrogen loss and the sensors were right because where I didn't apply nitrogen um, you know here it is in the middle of August and I've got leaves firing on the top on the bottom two or three leaves and where I applied this nitrogen it it looks like it should. It's green at the bottom. Nitrogen is different every year. So there is no like written rule that you can do. And that's one of the things I think we've expected from the optics um, as we've initiated it into our system. Uh, installation is a breeze. You just put it over the row. The other two fields where we were really second guessing the sensors on last year, they were calling for like an extra 60, 70 pounds of uh, nitrogen and we just thought that was just unbelievable. But when we shelled the corn there was also about a 60-70 bushel difference in yield. It was really neat to sit there and watch the sensors um, telling me what they're seeing and then I'm sitting in a cab perched up pretty high and I can see a lot too and sometimes we agreed and sometimes we didn't but it was good to see that um, the differences as we'd run along the field and, and actually kind of amazed you a lot of times uh, on how much um, our corn does vary just you know a few feet down the row it was actually calling for quite a bit different rate. I think that it is the next huge step forward in actually collecting data. Last year um, on the sensors I actually collected uh, read the canopy of the soybeans when we were putting our fungicides down and uh, it was actually amazing how well they correlated with the final yield map and I think that there's just all kinds of things that we haven't even thought of that we're going to be able to do in the future with these sensors.